Hello everyone. On the screen you see the annual returns of growth and value mutual funds from 1984 to 2018. In this video I'm going to show how you can get the summary statistics for this data set. First we need to set our directory and then after you set your directory we are going to import the data growth underscore value file into a table or a data frame and label it my data. My data is equal to read.csv growth underscore value.csv and then control enter. Next we are going to use the mean function. The mean function will return the mean for a specified variable in a data frame. For instance, in order to find the mean return for the growth variable, we enter mean my data and we select the growth column and then control enter and on the console pane you can see that is 15.11% the summary function will return the minimum first quartile median mean third quartile and maximum values for each variable in a data frame so if you enter summary in the parentheses my data and then control enter on the console pane you can find minimum first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and maximum values for both growth and value function. When we check this summary table, we find out that average return for the growth mutual fund is greater than the average return for the value mutual fund. You can compare 15.11 to 11.445. The median return for the value mutual fund, on the other hand, is higher than the growth mutual fund, this example illustrates why it's useful to examine both the mean and the median when summarizing central location, especially when there are outliers in the data. Next, we are going to use the core function. The core function will return a matrix that lists the correlation coefficient for each pairing of variables in the data frame. So we are going to type here core my data and then control enter. Now on the console pane, you see the correlation matrix. We are interested in the correlation coefficient between growth and value, which appears twice in this matrix. We also see that value 1 along the diagonal of the matrix, which measures the correlation between each variable and itself. The correlation coefficient between year and growth and the correlation coefficient between year and value are meaningless in this application. So the correlation coefficient between growth and value of 0.6572 indicates that the variables have a moderate positive linear relationship. In other words, on average, when one fund's return is above its mean, the other fund's return tends to be above its mean and vice versa. In order to diversify risk, an investor is often advised to invest in assets such as stocks, bonds and mutual funds whose returns are not strongly correlated. If asset returns do not have a strong positive correlation, then if one investment does poorly, the other may still do well. Next, we are going to use box plot function. For options within the function, we use main to provide a title, xlab to label the x-axis, names to label each variable, horizontal to construct a horizontal box plot, and call to give color to the IQR portion. So our idea to construct a box plot for the growth and value variables is to find out the outliers in the data. So we type box plot and then open the parentheses my data and then we choose growth. Next my data and then we choose value. And main is for title box plots for growth and value and then comma xlab is equal to annual returns and then names is equal to growth and value and then comma horizontal is equal to true and color call is equal to gold and then control enter so you see under plots pane box plots for growth and value the first one is for growth and the second one is for value to treat outliers we use the out parameter in the box plot function to extract and store their values in a new data frame so we type here 
outliers growth is equal to box plot my data we choose growth and then dollar sign and type out and control enter you see a new value appears here the outlier is 79.48 and we will type the same code for value function by what we need to change here instead of growth it's going to be value and we replace growth with value here too and then control enter outliers value is negative 46.52 one approach to treat outliers in r is to replace them with na's which represents missing values the percentage in percentage operator is for value matching and we use it here to find the outliers in the growth and value variables we then use the if else function to replace the outliers with na's and store updated data into two new variables new growth and new value so we are going to type here my data dollar sign new growth these are new variables that we are creating is equal to if else open the parentheses my data select the growth percentage in percentage as i said before percentage in percentage operator is for value matching outliers growth then na my data dollar sign growth so this code is finding data point that matches outliers growth in my data growth column when the computer finds that outliers growth value then it replaces with na and then control enter now we can go to my data set and we can see that new growth variable has na for an outlier and we are going to do the same thing for value we copy this column and paste and this time instead of new growth it's going to be new value and here we choose value and here outliers value and here my data value and then control enter so now we have five variables and we created a new column new value and it also replaces the outlier with an na value once the outliers are replaced with nas we can recalculate summary measures we use the summary function to compare the means of original variables with outliers and the new variables without outliers so we are going to type here summary and then in the parentheses my data and then control enter now you can see here one two three four columns the last two are the new ones so let's summarize our findings the median returns for the two funds are similar when you get rid of the outliers because it's 13.21 for new growth and 13.15 for the new value for the value the outlier on the left hand side coupled with a median that falls to the right of center in the iqr box suggests that this distribution is negatively skewed on the other hand growth has an outlier on the right hand side with a median that falls to the left of the center in the iqr box this distribution of growth is positively skewed so this is how you can find outliers in a data using r thank you for watching the video